Welcome back to part three of today's session on multi-language management, a relatively new feature of REDCap for working with multiple languages. In part one, we talked about how to add new languages to your REDCap project. Part two, we activated the languages for different forms and surveys, as well as provided translations. And now we're going to talk about how to add translations for the user interface. If we had any alerts set up on our project, we might see things under alerts as well as under miscellaneous. But for right now, we have not set that up. So to keep things relatively simple, we're gonna jump over to user interface. So the forms and surveys was a section over here where we were providing translations for the actual questions we're asking our study participants. The user interface on the other hand is going to be information about parts of the screen that might not be in the actual questionnaire. So there are features that we might see and click on when doing things like filling out surveys or conducting data entry but are not necessarily going to be read all the time by our study participants. This can be really particularly useful if you're working with uh, study personnel in international locations or who are uh, English as a second language speakers, and you want them to have their native language in the user features of REDCap, as well as for things like on a survey, when we want to advance to a new page or when we want to have a back button or a submit button, without having to suddenly have it be jarringly in English for a non-English speaker. So it provides us these options for the uh, common types such as change language tooltip, data removed, expand link. I think it might make a little bit more sense if we jump over to something like the uh, survey option. So here we'll note up at the top, we're gonna to choose whichever language. And down here, we're gonna say, how do we say page zero in this case of uh, whatever we're going to choose. So I might actually, as a way of starting, put in the, uh, the numbers. And this is going to be right to left. So I'm going to do one, just because sometimes when we change our keyboard, the controls for things like the curly braces might change. So then I can go in and we can start writing in and type over here. Oops, what just happened? Uh, I lost my, it's jumping around oddly. And I'll go back. And try copying and pasting to hopefully get this to go to the right place. It seems to be giving a little bit of difficulty, but we'll just leave that alone for now. And we can go down, whoops, and we can add in uh, and add in our navigation controls. Again, this is probably incorrect from a linguistic standpoint, and I'm really just typing these in to provide opportunities here to see uh, what we can get. So we can see we've basically all of the features that might go with a project. In many cases, we might not need to provide all of these. So if we're not asking for a, a password for our survey, we might not need to worry about this. If we don't have a confidential notice, we might not need that. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save changes uh, and we could do the same for Chinese. But for right now, we'll just hopefully have noted that this user interface is for providing the translations of the buttons of the uh, directions that appear on the page that are not actually part of the survey or form language. they are things like the increased size buttons and so on on our screen. Last thing I'll do is I'll click on the settings tab and we'll note that if we leave highlight untranslated text on the data entry and on the surveys, what this will do is it will highlight in bright yellow anything that has not been translated that way we can see when we look at our survey, what has been going on. So if I jump over to survey distribution tools and I open the public survey, we can see at the top, there are these three new buttons that are here because we are using the multi-language module. So I can click on Chinese. Well, no, I did not actually tell it to translate the please complete survey message, but here we can see it's providing our translations here. So it's asking for name. It's asking for favorite color, but I did not update the features for the date button or the submit button. We'll also note that it jumped over here for whatever reason. 
I choose Yiddish. Let's see, did it get my question marks right? It did get those right, and that is because I used the um, uh, the right to left controls. So we can go in, we can choose the language, we can answer our questions here, and then we can submit. Well, remember this has submit because I changed in Yiddish on the, uh, the user interface. I did not actually do that in the Chinese. Uh, but hopefully this provides some guidance for how to use the multi-language uh, management feature of REDCap. This is a new feature and it's likely to change. Uh, so if you notice things that are out of date, by all means, feel free to send uh, me an email. My name is Fred LaPola. You can either email fred.lapolla -L -L -A at nyulangone.org or the data services team at uh, hsl.dataservices at nyulangone.org. We'd be happy to answer questions and discuss further.